Hello everyone, welcome to another video uh, of UGB 2024 solution. So, uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the seventh problem, which came in ISA BMAT BSAT uh, 2024. And uh, also, the exam was held yesterday, and uh, now it's 6. Uh, so, it was held on 12th May, and now it's 13th May, 6 a.m. and uh, uh, I, I searched a little while ago and uh, still I couldn't find anyone solving the UGB questions. So again, that's why uh, when yesterday I made the video about the cutoff. So I clearly said that even if you have solved three questions as well, so don't underestimate yourself as you can very well see that. Um, I mean, people have not been able to yet uh, post solutions about uh, at least even one UGB question. So as far as I have uh, seen, okay, I might be wrong, uh, but um, I just googled it and saw. But uh, some some people will write UGB uh, in their solu uh, video, but uh, there is no solution of UGB. Okay. So, uh, anyways, uh, the main point is that again, don't under underestimate yourself, even if you have solved three questions as well. So, uh, talking about the seventh one. Uh, so here, uh, this, type, this type of problem again came in one of the previous years where you had ISI pond question and uh, so uh, the main part was I'm, I'm missing a number theory question uh, which I get every year. So anyways, uh, talking about this problem, they're saying that you consider a container of the shape obtained by revolving a segment of the parabola x equals 1 plus y squared. Uh, around the y axis as shown below, the container is in, uh, initially empty. Uh, water is poured at a constant rate of 1 cm cube per second into the container. Let ht be the height of the water inside the container at time t. And uh, the answer is also very uh, unusual coming, okay? So it's coming out to be an irrational time. So uh, uh, yeah, I'll show you, but uh, again, uh, let's, let's go ahead. So find the time t when the rate of uh, uh, change of height ht is maximum okay so uh, first what we can very well see that look at the bottom of the uh, the bottom so the bottom of uh, this uh, whatever this shape is like uh, I mean they're saying that like they are revolving this parabola x equals y squared and getting this shape okay so the main part is that like uh, the bottom of this container whatever let's name it as a container so yeah they have also said container so the bottom of this container is the plane y equals minus one right so as you can see like uh, when when do you achieve this two so when uh, this x is equals to two when y is plus or minus one so the above is y equals one and the below is y equals minus one and uh, so uh, now we will assume that uh, let let at time t so we have to work on time t so the at time t the water uh, fills up uh, the region from let's say uh, from the plane y equals minus 1 to let's say yt okay so this plane where t at time t where uh, this water has been filled so that plane uh, so that is uh, we are marking it as y equals yt yt okay at time t no confusion so far so then uh, what we can say is that uh, let's say that uh, i mean we have to then uh, we 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 also know that like uh, ht is the height right so then we can easily say that uh, let's okay we won't have space here so uh, anyway uh, going below oh there is this last question which i have solved uh, so yeah let's write it here problem seven so um, yeah uh, then basically what happens to this y t so sorry yeah y t is basically this minus one plus the height t right so let's write it down so y t is then minus one plus h t right and now we will let uh, v of t be the volume of the water at uh, time t in the con uh, in the container at uh, time t okay so volume of the water 
at time t okay and now uh, try to read the question that uh, the water is being filled up at uh, that at the rate of 1 uh, centimeter cube per second okay so that means uh, like uh, at time t so it's be one uh, one centimeter cube so at ti time t it will be t okay so that means now i can say that uh, yeah so that means basically vt is nothing but so implies that vt is equal to t now we can also find the volume by uh, integrating so v of t is uh, integration from that min minus 1 the below uh, uh, that is the below plane uh, the bottom bottom uh, of the container plane and till uh, we have like uh, where is it going that is uh, yt yt is minus 1 so ht minus 1 okay and uh, what will be the integration that is pi r squared so pi and uh, r means uh, like uh, the if you look at that circle so what is the radius so it basically x and so uh, uh, so that is basically uh, 1 plus y squared and whole squared okay so dy now uh, yes so this is like vt and vt again we know that it's basically t according to the given statement so minus 1 h t minus 1 uh, let's take pi outside 1 plus y squared whole squared dy okay now what do we have to do is like uh, let's let's differentiate this okay so let's differentiate this with uh, respect to t so if we do that we get 1 is equal to uh, this pi is there and uh, h of Uh, so differentiating we get h dash t because i have to go for the ma uh, maximum of h of uh, t so i have to find out the time t when the rate of change of h of t is maximum so i have to go for h dash t somehow so that's why the idea comes to differentiate there so using uh, uh, so if we differentiate so we get h of h dash t and multiplied by 1 plus in place of y it's h of t minus h of t minus 1 uh y square so sorry 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 sorry, sorry. oh no, no no it's fine yeah it's fine h of uh, so 1 plus h of t minus 1 uh square whole square okay so this is the differentiation coming out and uh, yeah so now this is uh, h dash so the, this this equation is involving h dash t now try to understand that when can we achieve the maximum value of h dash t so that like uh, h dash t max would imply that 1 plus so i'm writing in short okay so this is not the formal way to write so you can write it in words that uh, we will get h dash t to be max when this so i'm just writing it in short okay so uh, yeah so when we will have 1 plus h of t minus 1 square whole square to be minimum okay so now when or what could be the minimum uh, like uh, what could be the minimum value of this expression so that is can uh, like uh, okay so yeah usually i ask in class can anyone say so yeah anyways uh, coming down to this one so that means basically h of t will be equal to 1 right so uh, that is uh, and uh, so uh, okay let me write down the statement that is h dash t uh is maximal maximal if and only if uh that is 1 plus uh h of t minus 1 square is minimal okay and this is achieved when so this is achieved when h of t is equal to 1 okay so <clears throat> that means like uh, h of t is equals to 
then we will uh, get that h dash t will be maximum now how do we now the question is how do we figure out uh, the t we have to figure out t so now again understand that we have this equation so where we know t so h of t is 1 so the integration is going from minus uh, 1 to 0 so then t is coming out to be pi minus 1 to 0 uh, we have 1 plus y square whole square dy and now just integrate this so it's pi uh, this y will be there plus 2y square by no sorry 2y cube by 3 plus y to the power 5 by 5 and this is going from y equals minus 1 to y equals 0 and uh, just calculate this out okay so uh, i have uh, calculated it somewhere so yeah this calculation is coming out to be 28 by uh, 15 pi so 28 by 15 is rational and uh, so pi is irrational so answer is that t is equals to an irrational time so strange answer anyways uh, so that's what we are getting and uh, so again uh, that's the solution and i hope uh, you have uh, uh, found it helpful and anyways uh, i don't like these type of problems so i like uh, the ones uh, like where not much formula and integration are involved so uh, better like number theory combinatorial combinatorial problems like those so uh, but yes this question paper is like um, mostly like uh, you have polynomials so again the very first one was calculus the second one also involving calculus uh, then th fourth one fifth one so uh, fifth one maybe you can say that it's polynomial but still differentiability is there so uh, again calculus and uh, this one also calculus so like I mean the last uh, eighth one is fine but um, again you are having one two three four five five calculus problems out of eight problems so and no number theory problems is a little bit uh, disheartening for me so anyways uh, I hope uh, you have uh, enjoyed the solution uh, about the irrational time and uh, so that's it for this video so as I keep on solving I'll uh, post the solutions as well so I have been doing this from for the whole night and uh, so uh, i think i'll take some rest and uh, so if you found it helpful please do share it among the other students as well so i think two problems are left this one the third one and uh, the last one the eighth one except that all the solutions have been posted so you can go and check it out and i'll also post them as soon as possible so yeah so uh, currently it's 6 20 am so anyways, uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Okay, so bye.